Amy and Alan here, and we're going to talk today about kettlebell deadlift forms. So Alan is going to come and set up over the kettlebell. Now, to start, we want to make sure that we are directly over top of this kettlebell, not behind the kettlebell. So if you look down, the handle of the kettlebell should be roughly around mid foot for you. Um, Alan's going to start with his feet about shoulder width apart or a little bit wider toes pointed slightly outward. Now, if you have, uh, if you're a very tall person or if you have longer legs, you may want to go a little bit wider in the feet, but we're gonna elaborate on that in a minute. Now, before we bend down to the kettlebell, we're first gonna get our shoulders and our core locked into place. So for your shoulders, we wanna kind of squeeze them down and back. A uh, couple of good cues you can use to get in the right position here. You can pretend that you're trying to juice oranges in your armpits. You can also pretend that someone's coming to try to tickle you from behind and you do not want to let them into your armpits. But either way, as you can see here, Alan's like very locked in up top. We're also gonna make sure that our core is nice and engaged. Um, so to engage your core, you wanna essentially pretend that you're about to get punched in the stomach, um, or you can kind of imagine that you're about to cough, but you're trying not to let that cough out. So once we've got our shoulders and our core locked into place, we're then gonna send our hips back behind us as if you were trying to close a door with your bum. So just sending those hips back. We are also going to bend our knees a little bit, but we're gonna keep our hips a little bit higher here. We're gonna reach down to that kettlebell. Now, in your bottom position here, Again, your position may vary depending on your exact body proportions, but we always want to have our shoulders above our hips and our hips above our knees. So this is where you may want to play around with your foot position. Again, if your legs are a little bit longer, you may need to go a little bit wider to keep those hips under the shoulders. Um, again, shoulders always above the hips, hips always above the knees. Now, before we go and lift that kettlebell up, what I want you to think about here is trying to break the kettlebell handle in half. So you're literally squeezing it, trying to snap that handle in half. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna really reinforce your shoulder position. It's also gonna engage your lat muscles. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna push our feet through the floor and we're gonna stand up nice and tall. And then we're gonna lower back down to the floor, nice and controlled to that exact same bottom position. Now, as we go through this movement, we are also just kind of making sure that our knees are moving in the same direction as our toes are pointed, shoulders above the hips, which are above the knees. So here are some common mistakes that we see with our kettlebell deadlifts. Number one is setting up behind the kettlebell. So Alan's feet are way back behind the kettlebell. Now, the farther away from your body that weight is, the more work your low back is going to have to do. So very important that you set up with that weight right between your feet. Again, this handle should be roughly over the middle, mid foot as you are looking down at it. Um, other common thing that can happen is the kettlebell, letting the kettlebell float out and away from you as you are going through your reps. Again, you wanna keep that nice and tight. That kettlebell should be moving straight up and down, keeping that handle over mid foot. Again, the more that weight kind of floats away from you, the more load your low back is going to have to take. All right, next big mistake that we see often with deadlifts is letting our shoulders and our back come out of position. So you can see here, like Alan's shoulders are kind of pulled forward. His back's a little bit curved here. Um, so really, really important to keep that back nice and neutral and those shoulders locked. So remember to really think about squeezing those oranges in your armpits, keeping those shoulders locked, trying to break the kettlebell handle in half. Um, and really keeping the core engaged as you move up and down. Now, if you are having a lot of trouble keeping your shoulders in the right position, that could potentially be a sign that you may want to try your feet a little bit wider. Um, and it could also be a sign that you need to just bend your knees a little bit more as well. So as long as you've still got your shoulders over top of your hips and your hips over top of your knees, you can play around with your exact foot and leg position. Uh, but make sure that you are in a position where you can keep those shoulders locked nice and tight. All right, next common mistake with a kettlebell deadlift is overextending in the top position. So you've got a really nice form, you stand up nice and tall, and you're thinking so hard about squeezing your glutes that you're actually shooting those hips forward. So in your top position, you really wanna make sure that you've got everything nice and stacked. So 
We're gonna pick up that kettlebell. We're gonna come and we're gonna get our shoulders over our hips, over our knees, over our ankles. We're just standing up nice and tall and straight, keeping that core engaged. All right, last common mistake that we see with a kettlebell deadlift is either coming over and just like mindlessly picking it up and then getting into position at the top, going through your reps, um, and then just kind of like finishing and just like mindlessly setting it down and walking away. So want to really, really remind you that your setup for a deadlift counts as your first rep. The second you touch that kettlebell, you should be in the correct position. So we want to get everything nice and tight. We've got our shoulders locked, our core locked, everything is ready. Then we are going to pick up the kettlebell. When you finish your set, you are going to come back down the same way as if you were going to do another rep, holding your form until you release that kettlebell.